Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how to manage your ingredients and profiles in Beersmith Web, which is our web-based recipe editor. You can find a free trial version at BeersmithRecipes.com, and you can be up and working in just a few minutes. So I'm going to start at the home page here. I am logged into my account, and I do have the recipe editor trial active. Um, and I'm going to go to uh, the recipe editor itself, which you can click on the big blue button over here to get to. Um, it's going to show my active recipes and folders if I have them here. But right now we're going to go over to profiles. I'm going to talk a bit about uh, different profiles. And of course, we can click on ingredients to get to the ingredients. Um, we'll start with the fermentables, for example. And from here, first of all, I can view all the preloaded uh, fermentables that I have. And there's obviously a large number of them here. Um, I can add new ones or adjust them very easily by, by clicking on this Manage Preloaded uh, Grains, which will allow me to bring in new ones, for example, or take away ones. So, for example, let's pretend I don't want to use honey for meads and I don't need wine bases. Um, and I don't need apple juice for cider, but I would like to add some other things, maybe uh, Brie Smaltz in here, or maybe Castle Malts, because I use those. Um, and if I click OK, uh, the entire list will get updated now to reflect uh, the selections that I made. For example, you see all the Brie Smalls are in here now. Um, so that's how I can manage the preloaded ingredients very simply. Of course, you can always create your own ingredients just by clicking on Add Fermentables, for example. I can add a new malt. I can put all the parameters in here that if I want. And then if I just push OK, um, it will add that new malt uh, to the list. And it will show up instead of as a preloaded ingredient here, it'll actually show up as a custom ingredient. I have to go all the way out there it ends. Uh, as a quick idea here though, you can also search using the search bar here and you can show the new malt shows up. It's a custom ingredient and it's fully editable. Um, I can also take any of these preloaded ingredients. For example, let's take the amber malt here and I don't want to work with that all the time. Maybe I want to create a custom, customize it a little bit. I can create a custom copy of the amber malt. It'll show up as amber malt custom. Of course, I can change that as well. Push OK, and now you can see that we've got an amber malt custom ingredient here, which we can, which is fully editable, along with a preloaded ingredient. And we can use either one of those in a recipe. Um, you can do the same thing with profiles. For example, if I want to go to equipment profiles, you can see I've got a large number of equipment profiles loaded. I can select new ones. Let's say I want to you know, even work with commercial systems like the Blickman 7 barrel or some of the more common stuff like... Uh, maybe a uh, grain father system, I can just click OK, and those will be added, and I can use those uh, just by clicking on them. For example, I want to use the grain father system. Um, you can, of course, add new equipment profiles here, as well as create custom copies of anything. So if I wanted to work with, uh, uh, for example, my Brew Easy profile, which I have loaded here, uh, is a custom profile, but you can see it's fully editable. I can change anything I want in here. Um, so that's a quick overview of how you can play with uh, profiles and ingredients in Beersmith Web. I also want to mention if you go to uh, the Beersmith Desktop program and you open up, your, for example, your equipment profiles, you can do this with profiles or ingredients uh, on the new desktop version, which is uh, the latest one right at the moment is 3.2. Uh, there's a new button up here to exchange items between the web-based version and the desktop version. And what will happen here is it'll show um, your desktop setup on the left here, and your cloud-based, web-based items on the right. And it also highlight ones that are different. So for example, um, I don't have my Mead Cider Carboy set up for making Mead uh, installed to the cloud. So I can just click on that here, and I can copy it to the cloud. And you can see uh, it uploaded the item to the cloud. And of course, the grayed out items are the ones that are duplicated on both sides. So uh, some of them are duplicated, but you can easily go down and see which ones are different. And you can copy those into your cloud, which will put them in the web-based version. Uh, so it's very easy to move your equipment profiles, your mash profiles, your uh, customized ingredients, and so on, from the desktop version of Beersmith, if you've been using that for many years, into the web-based version of Beersmith. Um, so that's a quick summary of how to deal with uh, ingredients and profiles in the new web-based version of Beersmith. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, again, you can go to beersmith.com for more information. Or if you want to start your free tri trial of the web-based version, all you have to do is go to beersmithrecipes.com and set up a free account. Thank you for listening.